The FBI says if you're looking for love online, beware. Romance scams across the country are on the rise. These people are professionals. They're very good at what they do. They practice and they have scripts that they use on their victims. Agents say scammers make a connection with someone on social media and after gaining their trust over weeks and months, ask them to send money for an investment. Then they disappear. The bad actors will sometimes ask for cryptocurrency because it's largely untraceable or ask you to send money internationally. We have relationships through our legal attaches with overseas law enforcement. So we can uh, recover records that help us make our cases. And in some cases, we can actually recover funds. In the FBI's San Francisco region, however, some good news. Fewer people are falling victim than before. In 2021 in the Bay Area, the number of victims was 720. Last year, there were 490 victims. Two years ago, victims lost $64 million. In 2022, it was $46 million. Now, granted, that's a fairly significant decline, but it's a very high number, nevertheless. Agents aren't sure why it's going down. Perhaps people emerging from lockdowns are looking for love in safer places or they're catching on to the scam. Across the Bay, Santa Clara had the most victims with 132, but Alameda County victims lost the most money, $9.6 million. And the most targeted group? was people over 60. Specifically older women. Uh, it's roughly a two to one ratio of female victims to male victims. However, I do wanna state that we do see victims in every age group and in every demographic group. The FBI says if you think it's happening to you, contact your bank to let them know you're a victim of fraud and file a report through the Internet Crime Complaint Center, that's ic3.gov, and on the FBI website. Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.